Mechanics is the area of mathematics which focuses on the action of forces and objects. We can solve many real life problems, such as the movement of cars, the, the flight of ruby balls through the air, by looking at mechanics and using mathematics to solve them. However, there's lots of factors which can make them more complicated. So for instance, if you were to look at the flight of ruby ball through the air, there's many factors which can make it more complicated than it really needs to be at this level, such as air resistance, the spin on the ball, the weather, even the altitude. So what we're going to do is we're going to be solving problems by um, modeling them mathematically. And whenever we make model them mathematically, what we're doing is we're making it simpler t to to be able to use and apply the mathematics that you know at this level. Whenever you're modeling it, you need to make certain assumptions. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of these assumptions today that you're going to be using throughout M1. Okay, particle. A particle is an object which is small in comparison to the other sizes and lengths involved in the question. It means that the mass of the object can be concentrated at one point. It means that the particle has got no dimensions and it means you can ignore air resistance. Okay, a rod. A rod is an object with one dimension. It's just got the length. Okay, You ignore the thickness of the rod and you just look at the length of it. Also, it's rigid so it doesn't bend. A lamina is an object with um, one dimension very very small. Its thickness is very small. It has a length and a width but it's you just consider it as a two-dimensional shape. Okay, You ignore the, the two dimensions, you just ignore the thickness. <coughs> Uniform body is a body where its mass is evenly distributed over the entire volume. It means that the mass can be concentrated at a single point which is the center of mass at its geometrical center. A light object is where the mass of the object is very small in comparison to the masses of the other objects. Inextensible string is string that does not stretch. It, it stays the same size under load. Smooth surface. A smooth surface is one where you ignore the effects of friction. A rough surface is obviously a surface where you do have to take friction into consideration. A wire is, um, it's got one dimension and it can be smooth or it can be rough. A smooth and light pulley is a pulley where that is smooth, so i.e. no friction, and light, so its mass is small in comparison to the other masses involved. So you ignore the mass. A bead is a particle which can be threaded, moved freely along a wire or a string. In M1, um, air resistance is going to be negligible, so you don't have to deal with it unless it tells you what the certain value is. Um, when an object moves through air, it experiences resistance due to the, the, um, the friction. Gravity. Um, gravity is a force of attraction between all objects that have mass. Because the mass of the Earth is really large, we usually assume that this, uh, all gra objects have attraction towards the Earth and in M1 we're going to be considering that the acceleration due to gravity is denoted by G and that it takes a value of a constant 